Hello, welcome once again to Diecast Calls. I'm Jim. I'm a buyer of Redline Hot Wheels collections, and once again, we got a mail call here. I want to open up uh, so that we can enjoy this together. It's a um, it's a modest little collection that was uh, sent to me. Um, I got a telephone call uh, not that long ago, and we went through the through the negotiation, if you will, back and forth, and decided that this was the this is a worthy collection to um, to purchase. Let's see here. I'm gonna get in the way. I'll tell you what, I'll take the box away here. Move this out of the way. Get the packing stuff out of it. There we go. And uh, let's uh, let's open up these together. Put them in a um, little plastic bag. This is a um, this is a peeping bomb. A peeping bomb in beautiful. They call um, Grakwa, if you will. The Grakwa is what was a green um, original Spectra Flame that over time the Spectra Flame would fade. And there's uh, various discussions about why that happens, why the fading goes on. Um, sometimes it's just the, the treatment of the original um, metal from Mattel when they were manufacturing and the Spectra Flame paint was, was put on. But you have a fade, if you will, from green to what they call aqua, the aqua color. Uh, next one here is a U.S. Hot Heap. Hot Heap. You can tell it's U.S. by the in, uh, two little holes, if you will, indentations on the base. You can tell by the clear glass and by the steering wheel. The steering wheel actually is molded right into the um, into the seat area. I always like to have hot heaps that have nice front grill as uh, clean as possible. And you know, this one's got a little bit of wear on the wheels, but uh, yeah, a little hot heap there. Hot heap. The hot heap was an original 16, meaning when Mattel first manufactured the cars back in, the late 60s, 19, they released them in 1968, that they, um, they had 16 models and the Hot Heap was one of the original 16. Now, this is a really, uh, Brabham uh, Repco is a very nice, this F1. These are really tough to find with chromy pipes. Yeah, the chrome is worn off very easily by, by just handling. You know, you think about, you know, the skin oils and touching and it's a it's an easy thing to grab on the car if you will the other thing with um, any of the open wheels is the glass you want nice clean glass nice sharp glass and the nose you gotta have a nice clean nose you know because that they're um, you know they bump into things so to speak now this particular one has what they call capped wheels see those caps all four caps and Mattel placed a water slide sticker from the factory on the front, what we call the, the right side of the car. The uh, other stickers that came, uh, you were, uh, as the collector, you had the flexibility of putting whatever other stickers, water slides you want on them. Next one in the bag here. Oh, another peeping bomb. This one is in orange orange so the headlight little tab down here see that little tab right there open and close that to reveal um the uh the lights open closed and that was eliminated of course after the spectra flame era was done they still manufactured this particular model but they took out the ability to open and close the lights let me show you if i have a cup oh here we go yeah so here's um today's opener and then this uh, pink one on the left side is the enamel version 1973. Actually, this car, this pink one, same style, peeping bomb. But those were uh, manufactured during uh, 73 for the Shell Oil. Now, the gasoline stations, you know, the, the uh, baggies, the, the you, know, you fill up with a tank of gas and uh you know 69 cents later you got yourself a hot wheels <laughs> that the mom or dad would uh, would pick up for you right you can go to get the gas 
go to the gasoline to the service station shell oil yeah here's another peeping bomb again we talked about the lights open and close right this one is in blue really nice nice blue one spectra flame is really beautiful nice tires nice one yeah the pipes are relatively straight sometimes don't those aren't always the most straight pipes they'll get bent or broken and then the tail light sometimes is worn off over time if you think about it the the, the tail light you know die cast is the most forward or in this case the, the the part that extrudes the farthest and so kimmy you know in and out of the case in and out of the case in and out would rub against the plastic and a lot of times you'll see that like a nice clean front not all you know used up and abused up by you know track track time and and play etc here's another hot heap this one is in gold this one's in gold and again us tarnished base gold hot heap original 16 nice nice tires on this one those are nice hot heap all right what else is in this box we got a couple oh here's a here's a 1969 model this one is what they call the um, classic woody classic woody in orange that's a nice one call this a crinkle top see the texture in there crinkle and then um, <clears throat> the uh, the casting always had an indication indication of what era it was this happens to be a D as in dog a D casting nice orange woody there that's a nice one nothing wrong with that woody classic woody oh this is the hot heap collection that's right you a bunch of hot heaps in here this one happens to be a um, it's kind of a faded lime if you will yeah another US another US hot heap Nice looking car. Don't you love the Spectra Flame, how that shines? Really, really nice. Beautiful, beautiful car. U.S. Hot Heap. Put him next to the Woody. So there's a couple of 68s there. No. Oh. <laughs> Guess what? This next one. I'll open it up here. It's got it all in, in protective tissue. And, and, and this one happens to be... Um, Yep, another peeping bomb. This one is a green. So let's see, you got a couple of got a couple of heaps. Put the hot heaps together. You put the peeping bombs together too. Yeah, those are neat. There's your hot heap. Got three of those. Actually, what am I doing here? Look at. Got a peeper in the back that was hiding. <laughs> and then there's your open wheel. Beautiful, Bob him. Nice Woody. We'll put him in the back too. That's a beautiful orange Spectra Flame, isn't it? Yeah, don't you love red lines? What a great era. What a fun time to collect toys. And also um, later on in life, like we're doing today, you know, to relive the past, if you will. There's something special about this era. You know, it brings us back to more than likely our childhood, you know, maybe our dad or mom or cousin or, you know, your friends uh, down the block or at school, you know, trading and playing with the red lines. You know, it's part of a, it's part of our DNA, isn't it? It's part of it's wound in, you know, how we feel today, bringing back the memories of just beautiful, beautiful cars that have, ne have never been and won't probably will not be repeated. Oh, I got a, I got one here that um, was in gauze and it came apart. But you know what? This is a, um, <clears throat> it's a beach bomb, beach bomb, 1969. This one happens to be an aqua. It's got the flower in the front there. Flower on the side. Dark interior or light brown. Now look at the fins, you know. The boards, we call them skis, right? The the fin on the underside to create the uh, the stability when you're when you're surfing. Those boards, uh, those that part of the board is gone on both of them. Nice little beach bomb there. I like Aqua. Yeah, nice car. Glass is still nice too, or plastic. 
Oftentimes, you, you know, in this in the hobby, you call them glass, but actually, we're talking about this plastic. Oh, here's another open wheel. This is another um, Brabham, and this one's also uh, not too bad. This one happens to be an orange, and the pipes. You see the little bit of wear on the pipe there. If you handle them too much, the actual the chrome fades to back to the plastic that is, you know, basically the body of the of the car. Look at that, the bell sticker on the front. <laughs> Yeah, this glasses or the plastic, call it glass. That's nice. A little rub on the top there. These are bearing wheels. So see the difference between the two? Bearing means that you can see a little bit of white, right? Yeah, I'm gonna put it upside down here so you can see. Uh, hopefully. See the difference? A little bit of a, a little bit of a, that white um, you know, axle end which the uh, the tires uh, connect to. And then versus this one, the one we showed earlier is actually it's a cap wheel it just just the cap is um, is attached to the base whereas this the whole wheel is attached cap versus bearing bearing so I'll put those two bra pams in the back I'll put the woody over here next to the beach bomb put these two bra pams in the back these are nice isn't that neat the orange and the red orange and red Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Here's another another hot heave. What the heck is going on here? Gold, US. Gold, US. Hot heave. Those are bearing wheels. See the bearing? A little, little white underneath there? Right where the wheel attaches to the axle part? That's a bearing wheel. Hot heave. Look at the difference in color between these two golds. You got a dark gold and a light gold orange and lime lime let's see what we got here okay so as long as we're talking about hot heaps let's talk about a hot heap in uh, hong kong so this was a manufactured another original 16 as we discussed in red but the hong kong base see that you got the four holes underneath this is um, you know very very indicative the us would be the two holes Hong Kong would be four. The U.S. has the um, has the steering wheel that's molded into the plastic, whereas this one, the steering wheel, is actually um, uh, inserted as it's separate. It's a separate black steering wheel. Look at that front happy face. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice red one. So that's Hong Kong red. So those are the the hot heaps, and then the the uh, peeping bombs. Brabham Repco's in the back. And you know what? You're not going to believe this, but here comes another by opening this up here. Aqua. And this one's really, really toned dark. Look at the toning on that. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful peeping bomb. See the lights work? Yep, sure do. Open, closed. Let's make some room. Let's make some room for that, shall we? Let's do it. So here is Aqua Aqua. Those are two Aquas right there. What else is in the back? I've got a couple more here. Okay, a little bit of change of pace. This is a um, a custom Firebird. And this is also uh, a Hong Kong. Again, there are the four holes. The grill's uh, showing a little bit of wear in the front there. This one, um, the hood, Not going to cooperate with me. Maybe maybe it's crow to close. You don't know. The hood should open. Blue glass, the blue tinted glass there. That would be indicative of the Hong Kong, and also the wheels. Hong Kong wheels are a little more chromey, a little more shiny than U.S. wheels. Yeah, that's an original sixteen right there. Going to put him. Woody towards the back. A couple more here. Let's see. We have one. Okay. So this is the very last one. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? It feels like another hot heap, to be honest with you. No. <laughs> this is Vicky. Yeah. Let's see. Classic Ford Vicky. And this one is in a faded or toned, if you will, toned. 
and maybe some fade too, but um, this one looks gold. It's a nice little Vic right there. Got the rounded top. What a cool casting. You think about the craftsmanship that went into the design of each and every one of these original red lines. The red lines were produced from 1968. I should say released 1968 through 1977. Then the red line era went away. So basically all we're looking at is a nine-year period. It's just a beautiful time. And it's a walk down memory lane when we're talking about some of these cars. So... You know, from your, your childhood, right? So there you go. There's a little modest collection that came in today. I'm Jim. I'm always looking to purchase collections. If you've got some extra red lines you'd like to sell, contact me anytime at diecastcalls at gmail.com. So until then, I have a box coming in the next couple of days. We'll do another box opening soon. Until then, I wish you the best. Goodbye, everybody.